Everyone, this is Destiny. Welcome, Destiny. To the show. <clears throat> now, Destiny, Destiny is only 17 years old. She has been, she's been forced into a very adult situation. Destiny sadly suspects that her boyfriend and the father of her baby, Jesse, is cheating with several family members. <laughs> including her own mother, April. <laughs> and Destiny fears that Jesse has a dangerous addiction. He has an addiction to publicly fondling women <laughs> and sending grotesque sexual Facebook messages. What? You know what? I feel like I'm in love with a liar and a cheater. Three different women have told me that Jesse has tried to touch them in a sexual way. One of them was my mother. That's just sick. That's my mom. I went on Jesse's Facebook and I couldn't believe how many girls he was talking to. He told one of the girls that he wanted to lick ice cream off of her breasts. There was times I wanted to be intimate with him, but he just smelled like sex, and I was like, you know what, back off. If Jesse's not cheating on me, why would he delete messages? Why would he delete calls? I may be 17, but I'm not going to build my life with a cheater. Let's talk about what's going on with your mother. I don't even trust my mom. I don't even trust him, you know? Why would I lie? Why would, why, why would I hurt why would you like this? Okay, you know, all right, look, look, okay, look. First of all, we gotta find out about the incident. Me and Jesse went to a restaurant because to tell my mom I was pregnant, okay? I go to the restroom and she says that he's playing with her feet under the table, right? What? Okay, okay, all right, okay, so you know, I, I have come to come back. out and tell you what type of guy you're with. No, and then, we went to a, like a, a little family barbecue. She tells me that she was like bending over and yeah. that he like rubbed up against her. <laughs> like, like right here, like all you can is a piece of crap, Destiny, okay? He does not deserve you. You deserve better than this, okay? This is what Jesse had to say. Look. I know I made a mistake in the past when I touched one person close to Destiny inappropriately, but I've never touched her mother. Ever. Destiny doesn't trust me because she saw text messages, Facebook messages from other girls. They were just friends. I never cheated with them. I love her. I want to gain her trust back. I feel like her family members are trying to break us up with exaggerations. Destiny has a great man in front of her, but she's not seeing that. Her mom, April, said that I touched her in a sexual manner. And this is not the first time I've been accused of touching one of her family members. It's really starting to piss me off. Destiny, take my word. We have a baby. We live together. I love you a lot, and nothing is worth losing you over. Here's Jesse. Jesse, come on out. You love this girl. Yeah, I love her with my heart. Her life should be filled with raising that child, not worrying about you. I told you it. You said I was talking to girls on Facebook. If I wanted to, I would have been any girl already. You would have caught me up. Get out of my face, straight I'm up. I'm not in your face. I'm what? Look, 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 straight up, look. Be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Jesse, I can't even. Be quiet. You sit here. You sit here. You hold your mouth for a second. No, I cannot. Because you're hurting my daughter. She's the one who's trying to get you. Sit down here. You sit down. Jesse, sit down there. I want to talk to him. Then we'll talk to you, April. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. What happened with her and these other family members? Accidents? With her? It was, it, I'm not saying it was an accident. Just, it was an accident. Look, shut this is the thing. I told her, look, I had a self esteem problem. There was something to it, but there was no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh oh my God. God. Oh. Are you attracted you know to her? That? Are you attracted no. to her? Okay. No. April, what happened? What happened? We're at the restaurant. So he's following my feet or whatever. I turn this way again, you know? He does it again. So I turn like this again, and he does it again. Like, what that, the hell is that? that that's not like, an accident. What is that? That's not an accident. We have the results of the lie detector right here.
During your relationship with Destiny, have you ever had sexual intercourse with any other women? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie more than five women. Okay. Shit you... with destiny. Okay. When the okay. hours you claim to be working don't add up to the times on your pay stub, are you spending time and having sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. Hold on. Look. We asked you. We asked you. Are you attracted to Destiny's mother, April? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Did you no, grab Destiny's mother's butt? Did you whatever. grab Destiny's mother's butt? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> During your relationship okay, with Destiny, right, I'm gonna put it back on. I'll put have it you, back. Have you I'll ever tried to have sexual contact with her mother, April? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> During your relationship with Destiny. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with her mother, April? Oh, hell no. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. So that's nah, it. Come on, man. That's, that's oh, man. You're very young. You have a baby, okay? Now, you got to think long and hard, all right? What are you going to do? You Let me talk. Hey, look, we came all the way over here for this. Like, you couldn't tell me this at home? Look, you had to come way over here? Girls on Facebook, you can have them. You can have everything. Why can't I don't you? Want you. Let me you know what? I'm never going to touch okay, your okay, well, ever, ever. Let me ever. Let me you know what? Everyone, this is Jamila. Welcome Jamila to the show. Now, this is serious business with Jamila. Because in 10 days, Jamila is supposed to marry her fiancé, Stacy. What is she doing here on a cheating show? Oh. Jamila says the wedding is not going to take place unless Stacy can prove that he has not been cheating behind her back. You see, yeah. the suspicions, the suspicions began when she found a naked picture of a woman on Stacy's phone. Oh. Then the proverbial condom you found in the pocket. Oh! Those are things that we've had on this show, suspicions all the time. But here's one that's different, because Jamila is convinced that one of Stacy's mistresses is her own bridesmaid and best friend, Tina. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. And when it's not She be wearing all type of skippy clothes, walking around oh. in skippy clothes in front of my man, and she's supposed to be my friend. What type of friend walks around in front of her friend man with skippy clothes? Yeah. Name is simple. Name is simple. I mean, Tina doesn't have a history of this, does yeah, she? Yeah, she. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she does. She slept with one of my men's before. Yeah. Right. This is what Stacy had to say. What? I love my fiance Jamila, and she means everything to me. We supposed to get married in two weeks, but she said if I don't pass this lie detector test, it ain't gonna happen. The main person to me think I've been sleeping with is her best friend and bridesmaid, Tina. I got no idea why Jamie think I betray her trust like that. Jamila says that Tina and I have been sneaking off in the house together behind her back. Jamila says she found girls' numbers in my phone that I put under guys' name. Jamila found two condoms in my pants, but I got those for my friend. Jamila, I love you and I'm ready to marry you in two weeks. I'm not cheating with your bride, maid, Tina, or any other one. Hmm. Everybody, here's Stacy. <laughs> Stacy, you ready to get married? Yeah, I am, Morris. You Evidently are. Evidently not, yeah, if you cheat. Evidently not. And you wouldn't want to mess that up, would you? No, I'm not gonna mess it up. Especially with the bridesmaid. Right. <laughs> it ain't gonna, it's not, it's, it ain't gonna happen, Murray. It ain't gonna 
don't happen at all. You and Tina are kind of cool, right? I mean, you, yeah, you're like, they cool. too cool. If you ask me, Mar, they're too cool. They're too cool. Well, we'll find they're out how cool. Because here is Tina. Tina, come on out. Jamila, a good friend, don't you? Right. You would not mess with no. Stacy. No. You're a bridesmaid you in the wedding. too close to yes. me. Yes. Okay, That's guess right. what? We've got the results of the live. Let's go! Let's go! And I want an apology. One more. One more. I want an apology. Okay, Stacy. Okay. You were asked, Stacy, during your relationship with Jamila, have you ever had sexual intercourse with the girl who she saw a naked picture of in your phone? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Yeah. That don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing. That's only one. That don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing. You still got to see more You were asked, during your relationship with Jamila, have you ever had sexual intercourse with the girl you admitted to kissing? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh, When you come home to oh, Jamila Lord. and your mm, private mm, parts mm. smell like sex, yeah. is it because you've had sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. This is a dog. You were asked when Tina walks around in revealing clothing, <laughs> do you try to look at Tina's private parts? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> When Jamila oh. comes home and you run into another oh. room, mm, is it mm, because mm. you were having sexual contact with Tina? Mm. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Oh, yeah, okay. 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 Can I get okay. a hug up? Yeah. Can I get a hug up? Okay. Okay. And finally, you were asked during yeah. your relationship with Jamila, have you ever had sexual contact of mm. any kind with her friend Tina? You said no. The lie detector determined. You are telling the truth. Thank you. Thank you. I got you, though. I got you. Now, I know, Jamila, mm -hmm. that there is a wedding scheduled. But it's over, so it ain't even on You two are going to meet with my counselor, Steven. We'll be back right after. Everyone, welcome Brandy to the show. Backstage, backstage is Brandy's fiance, Brian. Now, before these two met on the dating site Plenty of Fish, Brandy had endured five toxic relationships with men who ended up cheating on her. And then denied her of sex or used her for money and all that stuff. But now Brandy is scared that the red flags that were raised during all those bad relationships are now popping up again because of her fiance, Brian. All right. So let's talk about these red flags, okay? Look at this text. Brian goes to take a shower and his phone goes off. Right. And this is what I open. I miss woman. your boobs and I miss your junk. This woman replies. So and did we're you, engaged. Did you, did you confront him with this? Yes, he told me I was crazy. I he see. denied it and then at the end, just friends, huh? And, and then what did you find on his computer? Two pictures of a naked red-headed woman. <laughs> and then the third red flag came in uh, in the middle of your being intimate with him. What, what was that red flag? I initiated sex. Yes. And I went to go and please my man, and he smelled of rotten tuna. <laughs> Well, I don't know what that smells like, but you know. Not good, and it's not me. So then, like 48 hours before you come to the show, what happens? We were laying in bed, 
Yep. He looks at his... How, how, is it, how, how late is it? Late at night? Yeah, midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. He looks at his phone, right. shuts it off, and says to me, I'm going to my mom's, which is 45 <laughs> minutes away. And I said, no, you're not. And yeah. he couldn't... He, I tried calling him, texting him. Right. He would not answer for me, so I threw my engagement ring away. Right. <laughs> Meanwhile, guess what? Who's earning the money in this family? Me. You're at work, and you call up Brian, right? And you want to talk to him, right? Yeah, and, and? He, he, he never answers. You think that he's bringing women into the house? Yes, I think so, because our bed is usually shifted. The bed's shifted? Yes. Brian doesn't think he's like all the other men who've been in your life, okay? Here's his side of the story. Watch this. I made one mistake when I cheated on Brandy with an ex-girlfriend. But Brandy forgave me. We got engaged and now we have a daughter together. So I don't know why in the hell she keeps accusing me of cheating. If my fiance and I break up on a Monday, I have sex with another woman on a Wednesday, and I get back together with my fiance on a Saturday, that's not cheating. I've had it with Brandy snooping through my phone and my computer. I want to marry Brandy and I want to be there for our daughter. The only reason I took a lie detector test is so that the truth can finally come out. That is cheating. Leaves on Monday, has sex on Wednesday, comes home on Saturday, he's but not he's not telling cheating. You, he's not telling you. He has been chatting with these women before we broke up. Here's Brian. <laughs> Do you consider I, sleeping with a woman while you're on a one-week break cheating? No. Uh, I'm yeah. not, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not cheating on you. And How long were you separated? For a few months at a time while or twice. I was pregnant with his child? What, while you were pregnant with his daughter? <laughs> Do you send explicit messages to your ex? I sent a message to my ex one time before, when we were broke up. Broke and then up. A, 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 Is that it? A couple of days later, That's the queen she, me and her got back together and I had forgotten about the messages and my ex texted back. I see. Original version is way worse, okay. and it's so graphic. So the other night, like 48 hours before you came here, you get a text message in the middle of the night, like midnight, and then you say you got to go see your mother. I didn't go see my mother. <laughs> I was being harassed by Brandy about different things, such as not taking good care of our daughter and things like that. And, and so I said, hey, I'm, not, I'm tired of this abuse. I'm going to go stay at my mom's house. But... <laughs> I actually went to the casino until 4 a.m. and then I went to my parents' house. I see. Spending yeah. her money? Spending my money. His money is his money and my money is his money. I turned $37 into $210, so I think I'm good. doing pretty damn good. Meanwhile, apparently, ever since she's been accusing you of all this, your sex life's kind of gone down, right? Yeah, well, I'm just getting older, and I'm not as active as I was in my 30s. Brian, Brian, I'm a lot older than you. Stuff still works, you know? <laughs> What's going to happen if he fails? Are you actually going to call everything off? Yes, I'm calling everything off. <laughs> And she's the woman you want to be with the rest of she your life. She is. I love Brady. She understands me. We get along great. Okay. It's just we have a daughter together, and I would like to marry her and spend the rest of my life with her. Okay. Well, why not? Okay, Brian, other than the one time Brandy knows about, have you slept with any other women? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> Lies the no. lie detector test do you, doesn't. Do you walk away from? Do you walk away from Brandy oh, yeah. with your phone because you're sleeping with other women? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> the lie detector you're test. A liar. Yeah, the lie detector you're, test is oh, the lie detector. bunk. Oh yeah. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. 
Have you slept? Have you slept with another woman while Brandy was at work? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh! Yes. Did you leave your house 48 hours before you came to the show to be with another woman that you had slept with? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh! And finally, our... <laughs> finally, Brian, are you in a relationship with Brandy because you are using her? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> She knows better than me. I don't think so. Is it's it over? over. It's over. Another one. Another no, one. it wasn't in I told you the truth. The lie detector yeah. test was it, malfunctioning. The other guy passed just fine. It just seemed, oh, it's just you. It's just you. Right. Well, I guess it knows me better than my memory. You're a liar. No, I'm not a liar. Yeah, you are a liar. Well, I've, I lie a little bit, but not no. about things that are important. We are an important. Everyone, this is Candy. Welcome Candy to the show. Now, everybody has to understand. Two years ago, Candy says she found true love with a man named Joe. Uh, and earlier this year, they welcomed their first child. So, you can imagine how horrified Candy was when she began to suspect that Joe has a strange fetish to being attracted to much older women. Oh. Something, by the way, he admits to. But Candy now fears that Joe may be cheating with one of those older women. Oh. Who might that be? Well, it's Candy's 65-year-old grandmother, Carol. Oh. Here's her story. My grandmother let Joe move in with us. I thought she liked him like a grandson. But over the past few months, my gut keeps telling me that Joe is having sex with my 65-year-old grandmother. I woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning, and I see Joe coming out of my grandma's bedroom. I want to know what the hell is going on. My grandmother is not an ordinary grandmother. She likes to dance, smoke, and she be drinking no wine pools. My boyfriend, Joe, we got an eight-month-old son together. It would break my heart to find out that this stuff is true. The sad part is, my grandma is not the only woman that I'm worried about. If I find out Joe been cheating with my grandmother, I'm cutting both of their asses out of my life. Damn. Your grandmother. My 65-year-old grandmother, Murray. Oh. Murray, I wake up at 4 o'clock, and I'm looking for my man, and I see him coming up out of my grandma's room. Oh. What did he say? He talking about some day was just sitting in there watching TV. You ain't finna spend two hours sitting in our room watching TV. Didn't you also find something in your in your grandmother's room that was his? Murray, I found his pants is laid on the side of my grandma's bed. As I understand it, he has admitted that he kind of is attracted to older women. Yes, Murray. I done found out Texas from older women, 40, 50, 60 years old. Really? But he says he's not doing anything with them. Murray, he tell me he ain't doing nothing, but I don't believe him. I'm tired of uh, I want to okay. find out today. By the way, now where did you get this idea that your grandmother and he were at a motel together? My friend Never called me. Hotel. She see my grandma and my man coming out of a hotel room. You my grandma. How could you see with my man? you had anything to do with him. Everybody should understand this. She raised you. Well, don't do stuff like She, uh, Murray, this woman watched my mama had me. She watched me claim about my mama wound. And for me to sit here and hell, I get my mama. Have a seat, Carol. I hear her lying. She didn't see no pants in, in my room for his. So what was but he, he was in, in his room. room. But he, he was in your room. He's doing a video of him. Well, wait a second, Candy. Morning. You sit down, Carol. Wait a second. He was in your room. You were watching TV, right? No. What? 
What were you doing? Now, be honest. Marley, I'm 65 years old. I'm old school. Right. I raised this child. Yes, I know you did. You raised me, but my man's in your room. That don't mean that. was in my room. Carol wants to set the record straight. I'm here to set the record straight, Marley. <laughs> but I got to tell a part of my life that, you don't that I don't want to tell. Okay. I've been smoking marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> you just but Joseph to... does things that I does. I've been smoking marijuana since '69. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a long cancer survivor. I'm a long cancer survivor. So I stopped. But he told me that he had some nice stuff. <laughs> Was it marijuana that he was trying to show you, or was it his, his, his penis? That's what he was trying to show you. Oh, he showed you his penis, and you my brother. He you showed me a bag of marijuana. That's it. That's it. Oh. I owe him, right to this day, $5. <laughs> OK. I've done thousands and thousands of shows. You are memorable. <laughs> this is what Joe had to say. <laughs> I'm 25 years old, and I admit, I like older women. But that does not mean that I'm sleeping with my girlfriend's 65-year-old grandmother. I enjoy spending quality time with Candy's grandmother. But it's not that we just watch movies and hang out. The minute I come home, Candy inspects my private parts. That is downright degrading. I took a job at a barbecue restaurant just to provide for my family. When I get home, all I get is accused of cheating. We have a beautiful son together, and I want to make our family work. But the only way that's going to happen is if Candy stops with this nonsense. Everybody, here's Joe. Welcome, Joe. Joe, what are we doing? Joe, what we... you consider her a friend? A family member. She, she, if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't see my son like I do. She opened her door. She ain't had to. That's my, that's her blessing for me. So what are you doing in her bedroom? Oh. She's weird. Oh. What have you been in your bedroom unless you called me to come see something on the TV? You seen this? She's cute. Four o'clock in the morning, though. Four o'clock in the morning, though. Four o'clock in the morning, really? You ready? Four o'clock in the morning. Come on, now. I can't sit in my front room and text or be on my phone at four o'clock in the morning. I got to be with her. She old enough to be my grandma, her grandma, your wife. What I'm doing? You know what I'm saying? What I'm doing? What I'm doing? You know what I'm doing? Come on, man. Come on, man. What I can do, man? Don't let that fool you. We like all the women. Come on, man. Hey, Candy, this is not. Wait a second. This is this is this is something he admits to. He likes older women, right? Yeah. Not you can't be old. 45 and under. 65? I can't do that. <laughs> what do we do with that? Let's talk about other women. Okay, that's cool. You messing around with her, on her, with other women? I used to, yeah. Used to? Oh, yeah. Yeah. During your relationship with Candy, have you paid for sex? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. That's all you get in. That's all you do is lie. You can't never be real. Sit down, baby. You can't never be real. Ain't no sit down. Because you are a liar. When you say you're at work. And I'm done with you. When you say. Sometimes when you sometimes when you say you're at work, are you actually having sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Did you have 
Sexual intercourse with Candy's grandmother, Carol, the night you walked out of her bedroom at 4 a.m. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. I'm sorry, Bummer. Have you had any type of sexual contact with her grandmother, Carol? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> What do you have to say to your grandmother? I'm sorry, Grandma. <laughs> no, I would never do you like that. I told you that. This is the most important yes. person in your world yes. right now, other yes. than your children. Yes. Joseph, you and Candy got a lot of talking to do. Does anybody believe an emotional affair is as bad as an actual physical affair? <laughs> Everybody, welcome Sabrina to the Mari Show. So Sabrina believes her boyfriend Shane may actually be having both an emotional affair and a physical affair. With not one, but a few of his exes. Not only has she found hurtful text messages that were written from Shane to other women, Sabrina says Shane gave her an STD. One of which Shane's ex-girlfriends allegedly had, too. Oh. So in the beginning of your, the relationship, you, you found him talking to his ex. Oh, yeah. I love you, baby. But that was I what he said. You. I want to be... You're my soulmate. Oh. I, wish I, I wish I was coming home to you. Really? Yes. What did you see on his phone besides that? He's sending d pics out. How did he explain he gets, that? He gets, oh, well, uh, it was an accident. He didn't know that he had sent that. That was an accident. And then I got to see his little ex, her little vagina. Look like it been repackaged for resale. Right. When you were pregnant with your son, what did the doctor say? Oh, I have chlamydia. <laughs> This is the man you love. That's my baby, you know. And he's sitting in here and he's playing with me like this. I don't go out. I don't, you know, interact with my exes and stuff. And when they text me, I hand him the phone. Why can't I get that same respect? So now, you want to read these? Here are some oh, of the yeah. messages that he wrote his ex. You ready? Sabrina's a bitch and I'm only with her because we have a son together. Maury, yeah. I'm a bitch, but I'm a bitch that's supporting him. Oh, okay, six years. Here's the second one. I love you, and as soon as I get out, I, I, I'm gonna come live with you. This is a, this is what he said to oh, another and woman. This is the this is the topper. You're my soulmate. Can you buy me a bus ticket? A bus ticket. And she's such a soulmate that why is she doing what I'm doing? I, I can't wait to hear what he said when you confronted him. Oh. Oh, well, she's just a friend. I didn't mean none of that. That's just, that's just talk. How you all doing uh, intimately? Once a month, if that. Oh. I mean, why do, why do I want to have sex? if he fails this test? Oh, if he fails that test, I'm going to pitch him a tent in the backyard. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to pitch him a tent, and it's cold outside, so I'm going to burn his clothes right beside it. So he's Here we go, hot seat, baby. Yeah. You already on fire. Already this is, on fire. This is what Shane had to say. Without sex in a relationship, there is no relationship. Period. My girlfriend Sabrina and I we used to have sex five to six times a day. And now the only thing I get is accusations. I don't cheat on Sabrina. I want attention and she is not giving it to me. I admit I've made some mistakes. I've said inappropriate things to other women. And other women have sent me pictures of their private parts. But we can't move forward if she doesn't let go of my past. Sabrina needs to get it through her head that I have never cheated on her. Sabrina has a choice. Grow up, stop being insecure, or this relationship is over. Here's Shane. Ha, ha, ha.
baby, you can't have it. Is that what Medea says? I don't get it anyway. Exactly. Why? I don't get why? it anyway. Why? Because you like them fat grandma ass bitches. I like them. I like them fat grandma ass bitches. You know, get your soulmate, baby. Ain't she I your soulmate? I mean, she's my right. soulmate. Okay, she's my soulmate. She's my soulmate. That's what you said. You be. I left you for a year. Left him for a whole year. I know, year. after all those texts okay, showed up. About three weeks ago, we what? sitting in the bed. He gets a text message. From that woman. From her. Shane. Without on, sex, boy. there's no relationship. Not nothing. What happened to the sex? Why well, I want to give she, this good stuff to down. somebody she, that thinks about everybody else. <laughs> she had a kid. Huh? She had it. She, we, we, have, we have our son together. The sex disappeared. Uh, it disappeared. Where, where are you, who are you giving it to? It disappeared. Who are you giving it to? Myself. That's you know, who I okay, give it so to. you can give it to yourself, myself. but I can't give it to myself. Uh, you have fun with it. Don't you know you just can't maintain relationships with exes? Don't you get that? Thank you. I, I, I get it. I Thank get it. You. I understand that. Once you cross that line of being a friend and into a relationship, ain't no going back. Before the result, where'd the STD come from? Exactly. I never had an STD. It, it, I never come had any kind air. of symptoms. It come out I never of had any air. symptoms. Okay, you know, here we go. I guess I sat down. Did on you the sleep seat. with any of the women who sent you X rated pictures? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh! During your you relationship lied. with Pacific. Sabrina, you have you slept with any of the women you messaged on Facebook? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh! oh at some point, yeah! Oh my God. Before her! It is so cold During, now, are you? Yeah, now, we'll, baby. we'll find it out. So we'll, cold. We'll, we'll get the timeline. During your relationship with Sabrina, have you slept with any of your exes? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> Did Sabrina media, huh? get an STD no. from you because you no. were sleeping with another woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh. Vocabulary. Sabrina, hold on. Man, Ralph, no. give me a timeline here. Please. Okay, Maury, he was tested during the relationship other than the year they broke up. He justifies his cheating by saying every time you argue, you usually leave. Boom, he goes into action. Exactly. See, I don't do that. I don't do that. If it's you not walk fair. out of the if house and you, you say, respect, we're broke up, I'm you, leaving you, I then you, you have the left respect. me. The whole You, you steal my old lady. I don't care what you say. You steal mine. That's still mine. That's because you steal mine. You no, my soulmate. No, obviously not. You my soulmate. Other bitches your soulmate, baby. I don't, there ain't no feeling you look, in that. Yeah, you better That's call me. That's just we popping my you gun. Better, you better call me. Sabrina, them. you got that tent in the backyard? Oh, yeah. It's ready. It's set up. It's ready. Hey, I'm not going to that backyard. I ain't promise you that. Away for the past. Uh, no, this for ain't the, the past. past. This ain't the past. For the past. Obviously, it's not the past. When we got back together. Uh uh. When we got back together. No. We, we said we were gonna too. leave the past in the, the past. past year you, too. you are not the father. <gasps>